What's good guys? This video is intended for people over the age of 18. So if you're not over 18, just do me a solid head out for me. And if you are over 18, do not try this at home. All right, cheers. All righty. Welcome back, everybody, to... It's honestly not that hot here in Florida right now. I think it was because of all the hurricanes, but we got a cold front going on right now. And I'm fucking with it. Um... What's up? Hey, how you doing? I feel like I haven't filmed a video of just me sitting down in front of the camera chilling smoking. So I know we got a lot of new people here too because of the giveaway. Speaking of, I'm gonna make it last until after I come back from Colorado. So I leave Thursday the 8th the weekend. So I'll do it Friday, that Friday. Friday the 17th? If that's the day, yeah, Friday, that Friday the 17th. That's when, that's when, that's when the giveaway winner will be revealed. But anyway, the topic of today's video, my new already dirty, as you can see, ash catcher. Most of you don't know, I've been rocking this piece for a while. This little straight tube with this ash catcher, which is fucking fire. This one all custom and shit. And I haven't, I hadn't shown love to the beaker in a minute. And I'm like, bro, I, I literally stopped smoking the beaker for like probably a month. And I was like, maybe I just need a new ash catcher. So I'm going online. Looking for dry ash catchers, because no one ever sells them. You always gotta get them from a fucking glass blower. I went on Pulsar Vaporizer's website and they had this and it was the last one. It was only 25 fucking dollars. And I had to cop it, because it, it was the last one. And it's honestly everything that I asked for, or everything that it could be that I asked for and what it could be. I love the size. I think what I love the most is the size, the fucking, the work on it. Bro, it's probably like a machine blown, but it still looks cool. You got the horn, little T, hello, sir. If you're wondering what I'm fucking smoking on, I'm smoking on some straw nano from Cali Platinum. And I really fuck with this drink, bro. So if you saw in my in the California haul or the California vlog video, I got some straw, straw nano sugar and that shit smelled incredible. And this smells just like the dabs and it's fucking insane. It doesn't even, it doesn't even smell like weed, bro. And my white tea. In my high pants for the high beast. Hey, honestly, MIA, Mia, garbage. She ruined that fucking song. Hey, pinkies up, everybody. Mm. I don't know what it is about dry ash catchers. But I'm almost certain they make the hit smoother. There's no other explanation for it. I think that since, so when you pull the bowl here, I'm thinking the air that goes into here, I think this like, it definitely constricts the flow of air and then it has to go back to the down stem, into the fucking water in the bong and then out of it. And I think that muffles the smoke. The aggressiveness of it, does that make any sense? Cause when you, do that. This hole is definitely bigger than that one. So that's where the air is coming from. Doesn't make it smoother, I don't know. But it definitely feels smoother. How is it already dirty on the downside? It's fucked up. I think there's hella keys in there. I don't fuck it. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put some bud and some keef. Don't fall over. Let's fucking go. Can you see? Can you see? Just fucking barely. Alright, alright, cool, cool, cool. I want to talk to all the new people for a second. Um, what's up? Welcome. Uh, welcome. I know you're here for the giveaway. Good luck. I hope you win. I think we should uh, skip the fucking, oh, hi, how are you? You know, just skip all that. Just become friends immediately. 
And um, before that, I need to know of just a, a list of things. Your top five favorite cereals. It's a very important to me that I know who I'm dealing with. You can always tell by the type of cereals people eat. So just in the comments, tell me your top five. And if, you, if you've been here and you just haven't gotten a chance to tell me your top five, you can tell me as well. Um, no order, just the, five, the top five that you like the best. No specific order, not one through five, just five of them, all right? If you put that the regular Cheerios, the non-Honey Nut Cheerios are in your top five, I might have to block you. Like, that's not my rule. That's just, like, you're a psychopath. So I think for the betterment of like everyone in here, you just gotta go. Sorry. Oh, also, bro, this video is coming out before I go to Colorado. I need to know where to, what to do. All right, so the first day I'm going there, I'm just chill, see what's up. I'm trying to see a cool sunset and smoke there. And I'm being in Denver. Let me know what's free that I can go to. It's just like a quick little hike, you know, quick little sum, nothing too crazy. Up and see like a cool sunset and I can smoke a little something. And the second day I'm going to Rocky Mountain National Park. I think Garden of the Gods It's Thursday. The third, not Thursday, but the third day. Let me know if that's overrated. I heard some people, well, no, I've heard one person say it's overrated and I've heard everyone else say it's fire. So let me know. And then the last day is just whatever. So you guys can potentially control the trip and the vlog because I'm going to be filming it. And so it's gonna be up to you perhaps to tell me like what you think would be cool for video purposes, you know? And some dispensaries to hit too. Because bro, something they don't tell you about Colorado don't go to Colorado Springs because at least on weed maps from because I've had I've not been to Denver yet at least on weed maps it says Colorado Springs has hella dispensaries but they're all medical so you have to have a med card they don't take out of state med cards so that sucks and Denver is where all the wrecks the rec dispensaries are at so that's where you need to go at least that's what I think, you know, there's probably going to be someone in the comments or someone watching this being like, bro, you have no idea that Colorado Springs is a fuck ton. And you're probably right. But my point is at those rec dispensaries, uh, at least what I'm seeing for right now before I go. So this is like a, like a prologue to me going, right? This is my, I'm recording my pretenses of this trip. That way, when I film, I can be like, yo, I was wrong, or yo, I was on the fucking money. I have not seen some, like, super fire prices. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen, like, like decent prices, but, like, when I went to California, I saw the same prices for Bud. Like, I was expecting Colorado to have some, like, gas for the low low. And it can, still can, you know? based on weed maps. You know, we, it, it could be, it could be fuck weed maps, you know? Weed maps is a piece of shit, and I have no idea, you know? You feel me? I'm really hot. I think for the last bowl, I'm gonna clear it first, and then we're gonna do a little, a little combination. I go. I'm, I'm trying to do like small pieces so it comes off easy. You feel me? I want y'all to know, while I'm out here, all in your ears and shit like that, my ass is poking out so far right now for this shot. Mm, there we go. First knot. <clears throat> Boom, two of them right there. Fuck, we gotta we gotta fill that gap. Oops. Boom, nice little addition for the thumbnail. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. Um, giveaway of Friday the seventeenth. I think that's that date, but you, if it's not, the closest Friday. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully next time I see you is a Wednesday. It might be, it might not be. Who knows, piggies up, cheers. See you.